Ready to kick off its 18th season, Emmy Award winning actress Essie Patha Merkerson continues to call the shots as a no nonsense lieutenant, Anita Van Buren. Inspector. Not anymore, just a, a civilian retiree, I know, which is why I can't tell you what else we have. You know that. Aren't I allowed to help out if I can? Well, up to a point. Look, why don't we have dinner and we can catch up? Sure. And we're so happy to have her here with us. Good morning. Good morning. It's so good to see you. It's so good to be back. So this is like the most incredible thing. I mean, you're going in your, your 14th season. Yes. You told me something um, in the green room that I didn't know. I mean, you were going to go down in history books. Yeah, I'm a trivia question. I'm the longest running African-American woman on television. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah. You're going to be Trivial Pursuit. Yeah, exactly. Or Jeopardy or There's all of those one other of the, things. Yes, exactly. Think, I mean, because that's the most interesting thing. Did you think, like, growing up, that this you would ever, you know, have such longevity and stability in one job, no. choosing acting as a profession? No, it's amazing. I mean, I also told you that when I was a kid, we were, like, maybe one of the first three families to have a television on wow. our block. And then to end up, you know, being one of the longest running people on television, is it's quite a, a, amazing. Did you tell your mom, like, growing up, like, one day I'm going to be on that? You know, I didn't. It never, you know, I always wanted to do theater. So, you know, this is like icing on the cake. Wow. Because I always thought I would be, you know, hitting the boards in theater. <laughs> Yeah. So now that you are, you know, one of the, uh, I guess, the senior member of, of, of the series, do you get a fancier trailer than, like, Jesse? <laughs> no, I don't, else? in fact. So we can talk about that, though. You can help me out uh, with would that, Would Jesse maybe. be okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, I know he's kind of a star in his own right. Yeah. <laughs> he, he is the star. Would be he, but I know you guys are really close friends, yeah. so I guess he would understand, yeah. right? Oh, no, he wouldn't. If <laughs> he I would? took, no, if I took his camera, he would not understand. <laughs> Aside from Law and Order, you're doing theater, you know, again, you saying how much you love Broadway, but it's come back Little Sheba, and I know that you did it in L.A., and now yes. it's in New York, so I mean, this has got to be such a thrill for you to I'm be I'm so excited. Kevin Anderson and Zoe Kazan are in the cast with me, and, and we're just, it's just a whole other atmosphere here doing theater in New York, so I'm very excited. Well, I bet you're glad that you are able to go to work, at least in theater, now that that strike's over. Well, exactly, and actually, Manhattan Theater Club wasn't affected by it because it's a not-for-profit oh, theater. Right, right, well, that's that's, that's great as well. So what's going on, I mean, with the strike? I mean, how is it affecting well, your, your TV we're, schedule? We're good until the end of January, and then there will be issues about it. I mean, I think that what the writers are doing is important, and it will set the tone for the directors and the actors yeah. whose contracts will be up next year. Well, at least, but at least with your show, there's reruns that could last until eternity. Uh, for real. <laughs> That's for, it's like yeah. the one show that there's nothing to watch. You could always find it on TV. It, it's so true. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, also, tell us, I mean, you, you have, you know, a lot of health situations that you're really vocal about. Yes. You know, which is a very good thing that you are speaking about. It. So yes, I'm diabetic. Me. I'm also uh, suffer like eight. 80 million people in this country with high blood pressure and we're in the cold and flu season so mm -hmm. it's important that we find something that doesn't spike our blood pressure and Corsi and HBP which is a, a cold medicine that you can buy over the counter is the cold medicine that will help your symptoms but not raise your blood pressure wow. and you know it's always important during this time of the year that we take extra good care of ourselves because of the flu and how dangerous those right. things can be and when you have health issues like that, it's very important that you find something that will keep you and your body in good shape. And, and to be aware, because, I mean, if this medicine, like, if people would go and buy, you just automatically have a cold and you're going to go buy something right. that you may have not to be mix careful. well if you have some kind of medical condition. Exactly. And the important thing for everyone to do is always to read labels, to consult a physician, and you can always ask a pharmacist as right, well. Right, of course. And then there's a website if you want more information, yeah. Coracetin HBP, like high blood right. pressure. Well, we're gonna, we'll put that on our website to Excellent. link it up so it'll be linked up. And the other Thank thing you. is, okay, so we know that you had one of the best acceptance speeches ever. Uh, so <laughs> so uh, are you going to update it in any way should you win a Tony oh my goodness I'm you know I just want to get to opening night first, <laughs> and then we'll talk about so, yeah, that well, how did it go like you I want to say what was it quote unquote uh, was it Cyclops is that no it was about your ex-husband oh god oh I wanted to thank my divorce Lawyer, oh, I've so forgotten about, I've so forgotten about him, you know, that I haven't forgot what I said. Yeah, but that I think goes down as the best. Yeah, because he's a, he was he's a great guy, Sandy Ain. He's a great guy. <laughs>
a good job for you. Well, thank yes. you so much for coming in. And it's welcome always back good home. to be here with you guys. So good to have you. Thank and don't you. miss uh, the two hour season premiere of Law and Order, <laughs> January 2nd on NBC. And uh, for more info on checking out the show, go to our website, um, cw11.com slash morning news. And coming up tomorrow, we have Frankenstein himself, Shuler Hensley, is going to be here live. Happy holidays to you. Going to be here in New York or go? Oh, yes, LA? I'm going to be right here. Yeah, we're all oh, going to her house for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> and we. Yeah. I'm playing, I'm playing a little Wii game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Up next on the CW Level Morning News, if you got 10 minutes, then you got a clean kitchen. We're going to show you.